The Maryland District 1 House race has already been contentious. While Republican incumbent Andy Harris won his party's nomination with ease at 78% of the vote, Democrat Joe Warner edged out his opponent, Jim Ireton, with 51% of the vote. And as WBOC's Tyler Butler shows us, both candidates say their approach can best beat the other, that is, in the general election. Andy Harris has become a familiar sight on Capitol Hill. The physician has now been on the Hill for half a decade, but he tells me he's not done yet in D.C. We still have a lot of work to do, getting our economy uh, going again, making sure that the industries that are important uh, to the uh, lower shore and eastern shore of Maryland, whether it's tourism, whether it's the, uh, the uh, seafood industry, whether it's agriculture, to make sure that they don't get short shrift in Washington. Democrat Joe Werner is not a familiar sight in the halls of the Capitol, and he says that's his strength. The Harford County attorney works in D.C. and wants to appeal to more moderate voters. There's no big lobby money in my campaign. And because I'm not a career politician, because I do care about the people, and I'm not really looking to have a 40-year career in politics, therefore I can go in, get what needs to be done done, I can work for the people because I'm not looking towards just becoming a lobbyist, I'm just looking to get done what I believe in. Harris says if elected, he wants to focus on growing the economy. Look, it's a lagging economy. The fact of the matter is it's not growing as it should. And the last thing we would need is uh, regulations or more taxes coming out of Washington uh, that really could stifle the industries, again, the tourism industry, the seafood industry, the agriculture industry, the poultry industry. These are industries that uh, really uh, could be hurt by Washington or the wrong policies in Washington. And uh, that's why I'm there uh, trying to fight for, for the people of the first district. Werner wants to use his potential time making the government work more for the people. Campaign finance reform, get some of this dark money out of politics, some kind of campaign contributions or campaign funding through the government so you can have outsider candidates. Uh, third, you know, the independents in Maryland should be allowed to vote in a primary instead of having primaries that are far polarized, you can bring them together. So, you know, get rid of some of this gerrymandering. You don't want to throw the system out, but the things that are broken you can fix and we have the greatest system in the world. Tyler Butler for WBOC News. Now, this District 1 seat is not necessarily a slam dunk for the incumbent Republican. Harris has held the seat since 2011. Now, before that, a Democrat, Frank Craddeville, held the seat for two years. Wayne Gilchrist, another Republican, held the seat from 1991 to 2009. But remember, before that, Democrat Roy Dyson held the seat from 81 to 91. 